diffraction sense business studies welcome back to sense business studies please subscribe like share and comment so i have my own youtube channel as well which is called crazy igcse which includes bio physics maths esl business economics and accounting so please go and subscribe there as well now let's look at what diffraction is diffraction is the spreading of a wave it depends on the gap size and if the gap size is narrow then the diffraction effect will be more however if the uh, gap size is wide then the diffraction effect will be lesser now if the wavelength is approximately equal to the size of the gap then the maximum diffraction will occur but if the gap is larger than the wavelength then very little refraction occurs and if there is a uh, little refraction occurring then there'll be a curve at the edge which means it'll be drawn like this there'll be a little curve and for this one the wavelength will be like this and the gap will be over here which is equal to the wavelength of the waves and that's when there'll be maximum diffraction so this is the diagram so the wavelength speed and frequency remain the same for diffraction now this is a diagram of how maximum diffraction will take place so first the wave fronts are drawn and then here is the gap so if you see the distance of the gap is almost equal to the wavelength so when it is almost equal to the wavelength maximum diffraction will take place but when the gap size is larger than the wavelength then there is very less refraction and the refract the diffracted uh, waves will be curved now if the wavelength is equal to the gap then the diffraction is maximum but if the wavelength is smaller than the gap size then the diffraction effect will be less if the wavelength is greater than the gap size then the diffraction will be less or there may be no diffraction at all now this is the graph uh, this is the a uh, diagram of the if the gap size is equal to the wavelength so here these are the waves drawn okay an important thing is to mark the direction so the direction is like this then you see that the gap size and wavelength have almost equal distance then you mark a point in the center after that you measure the distance between the center to this first wave after measuring it turn your compass to the right side and make a is an arc and then you uh, do it from the same center point to the second uh, wave and then you mark an other one like this same for the third so with that measurement you draw an other one after that you will have to mark the direction so the direction is here it's going away from both the sides now if the wavelength is smaller than the gap size that's when the this these are the waves this is the gap size so if you see the gap size is a bit bigger than the wavelength you draw the direction you mark the center point after that you will have to uh, measure the distance between the center point and the first uh, wave with that same distance you need to draw the uh, ref the diffracted wave front with a curve after that you do the same for the uh other waves as well and then you draw the curves like this then you mark the direction like this so this is how you draw now for more check out www.sensebusiness.co.uk and i'll be uploading more videos on making on drawing refraction and reflection um, diagrams also on internal total internal reflection Thank you for watching Sense Business Studies. Please subscribe and like and